I thought I'd do a voiceover for this run, since this is probably going to attract more casual players than usual. On this run, I'm using Chroma without Rivens and without login items. Usually, I use Zenith for my primary weapon to one-shot the pylons from any distance. Since Zenith is a login item and therefore banned from this run, I instead use Opticore Vandal. It will still pierce the pylon bubbles, but it won't pierce terrain. For my helmet ability, I infused Eclipse, replacing Vex armor. This gets me a stronger buff, faster. I fight Prophet Taker from the beach to get good lighting conditions for Eclipse. Being lower than Prophet Taker also gives good angles against the legs during the armor phase. This is especially useful to compensate for the height of the Necromech. I jump up in a Necromech and dash downwards to put distance between myself and the Necromech. This avoids transferring back into the Necromech instead of the Warframe. While the pylons are launching, you have time to recast your abilities, heal, and go look at where the pylons land. As said near the start of the video, the Opticores can pierce the pylon bubbles. We use Arcwing to maneuver around the terrain. For the second armor phase, we use Maslon on the Warframe to avoid the lag regen bug. For shields, we constantly swap between the elements as necessary. To clear Toxin, we use the Arquebex. If we're lucky, we can immediately continue with the armor phase afterwards. When we shoot the body with Velocitus, we one-shot, but we have to shoot an additional time to let the Prophet Taker know that the fight should continue. When the pylons launch, you again have downtime to recast your abilities, heal and kill the enemies. Do not forget to take out the reinforcement beacons, because they will spawn more enemies and increase the enemy level. If you have Zenith instead of an Opticor, you can shoot at the waypoint markers without the need to use your Arcwing. Very soon, I'll get hit by the laser sweep attack. Without shield gating, this attack can take you down in only a few frames. Always try to avoid this attack. Chroma can double the credits he and his squad mates get by using his fourth ability, Effigy. Place it where the back left leg dips down and you will be in the range of the credits when they drop. In the meantime, make sure that you kill enemies that can displace you. Otherwise, Effigy may be in range, but you won't. And that was already it. A run of 103 seconds, using no Rivens and no login items. It's only 4 seconds slower than my personal best with Rivens and login items from 9 months ago. In the rest of the video, I show the builds that I use. In the description, I also included the builds that you would use if you do have the login items. Press in fire. Is, is it? Oh my god. We did it. We did it.